All right, just to, just to, um, to talk about that wrestling real quick. Like, I wanted you guys to try to figure out yourself, like, how to take them down and stuff like that. Yes. But a lot of it is just, like, um, a test of endurance. Like, no matter if you give up on the ground pin down or you give up because you're just too tired, that's kind of what wrestling is. The people, they, they just take away your endurance and then they just, they make you submit. So, oh yeah, so no matter if you're submitted down or they got you to choke or you were, you're like, oh, what, I'm too tired. And that's pretty much what it is. So you just want to increase your endurance and increase your strength because if they're stronger than you, then once they get their hands on you, they have a better chance of like controlling you. So if you're just stronger, like say if I had you wrestle against heel, I mean, the weight advantage alone makes it so difficult for him. So that's why in competitive wrestling, you know, they, they pair people up according to weight. Yeah, and it's does. like, it's not realistic because somebody attacks you out there a lot of times they'll probably be bigger than you, and then you have to figure out a way to beat them. So rather than getting hands on, that's why we do the sparring. So then when you're like moving away from him and he couldn't grab you, imagine you able to strike. Then you're at an advantage because you're hurting him while he's trying to take you down to the ground. So you did good, you know. You made it really hard for him to take you down. But the thing is he didn't know the techniques of how to take you down. But once he gets in the clinch, you're supposed to just trip you. But he wasn't tripping. So I was trying to see if you could figure it out on his own, but but yeah, it's, kind of it's, it's good. Yeah. It's good training for you guys. His own. All right. The next thing we're doing is with this. Um, pretend like it's one of those those broadswords, so something sharp, and then see if you can like get your hits in there, slash them up a little bit. Let's make the um the points more obvious. Like if they don't acknowledge the hit, then just keep hitting it until it's so obvious that everybody says, okay, this person got the point. So just don't let them get you and try to get them back. And this is a symbolized way of like, if you can get really good at this, then you can get really good at sparring because your punches are supposed to symbol symbolize that and also your legs. So you're supposed to tag and move, tag and move, keep kicking and moving. Just like with the wrestling, he was coming at you, you're supposed, like in real fighting, you're supposed to just keep tagging and moving, just keep wearing them down with punches and kicks until they give up or they, they have too much injuries and they just don't even want to fight anymore, okay? So that's the advantage. When you're smaller and the person's bigger, you just gotta keep hitting them and moving, hitting and moving, hitting and moving. Don't let them get a hold of you. Like you don't want Brandon just tackling you because you don't really have a chance because he's so much bigger and stronger that you don't want them getting you down to the ground. So this is an advantage. Anybody can win, even though Brandon's taller, if you move quick with your feet and you go in and out, you can still beat him. But if he gets good at, at it too, and he has range, then it makes it even more difficult. Okay? Right, let's have uh, you and Kiel first. So Angelina has a height advantage. Let's see if Kiel can still be there. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I can hear you. Know, I've been watching the last two. <laughs> Alright, let's do a best, best of three. I just need to sit down. Okay. Yeah. All right, ready? One, two, two yeah. three, go. Oh, 
This point. Slashing at her. Did you see that seafood? <laughs> taking advantage. Taking advantage. <laughs> Angelina and Jacqueline. Yeah. 
doing a great job blocking though. Yeah, that was really good. Awesome. So all you have to take a picture with this one. Okay. Oh,